And we're live. And we're live. And we're early. One minute early. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first for us. I don't know how many people will have live in the chat tonight, but um Yeah, we clearly if you're with us already, you know that, that we're doing this a day early because tomorrow we're going to a gig. We're taking Ellen to see what's his name? Declan McKenna. Declan McKenna, new up and coming artist local to us. Yeah. Uh, playing a gig in Bedford and his album's out now, isn't it? Uh, no, not to July, apparently. Oh, oh, I thought Ellen bought it, she's pre ordered it. She's pre ordered it, okay. Anyway, so yeah, so we brought it forward to today because we'll be out at a gig tomorrow. Oh, people are popping in now. Yeah. So, we'll say a quick cut. I've got a list, I've been organized today. I've got a list of things <laughs> I need to remember to mention, uh, and then we'll do a bit of a haul. Um, we went out, no, you went out, I, I went out. In. I went out, Andrea slipped in. I was out playing cards till what, one, two, yeah. something like that. And then I got up at six ish, half six. And I, I haven't had a nap. I haven't had my old oh, man no, nap no, yet. No, we've been out and about. Um, I'm at that crazy tired point again, and I'm on the cider. So, Are you? Love it, yeah. Pe pear cider. Lovely. Anyway, we'll say hello to some I'm people. On, on fizzy water. <laughs> right let's have a look in the chat welcome as i say sorry to confuse everyone this is our sunday show a day early basically yeah. <laughs> well you know we didn't want to disappoint and not do a show at all so yeah if you couldn't make it tonight then at least you can watch it on playback so exactly you don't, you don't yeah. miss out completely this has become it's it hasn't taken very long to become really part of our kind of thing i look forward to these now yeah, I do. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, let's say some hellos. We've got Jason Chelsea. Chelsea messaged me the other day and said that a boot sale he's been telling me about was on today. Uh, I went to my local ones, mate. I was going to, I thought about going to try and meet up with you there, but it didn't happen. Soon. Soon we'll meet up again. Uh, Retro Cable, Dr. Doodle Do says, Hello, I'm going to have one eye on the rugby tonight. Fair enough. Yeah. Can't blame you. Uh, Gavloft, uh, Andrew, Donna, Shazad, J I said Jason already now. Yeah. Uh, Ruth, Diesel Engine Freak, love the name. Uh, I've got diesel engine problems. My car is just losing power. Yeah. It'll be fine, and then suddenly it'll lose power. So I've got to take that in next week. Uh, yeah. Business Wolf, do you want to say some hellos and I'll, yes. I'll start? Um, beautiful Life, uh, Ricardo's Avocados, I like that name. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm not sure who you've said already, but um, Lewis Smith, Richard Payne, UK Reseller, Austin Moore, Doing It Yourself Lifestyle. I just built cider um, down myself. Oh, that, oh, that's good. Oh. Um, Aaron, Burning Soul, Kay Horsley. It's all over the mouse. I right, can't see excellent. anymore because yeah. the, um, it's well, not... Well, we'll be here all night. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> people have found us on the wrong day. We've got 75 yeah, people in. So. Yes. Lovely. Oh, Southwest Sellers is in. Hi, and Kirsten. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Welcome. So, hi, everyone. Right. First thing, hopefully people saw, I did put a message on Facebook saying we were coming on today instead. Yeah. If you don't follow us on Facebook, um, there should be links below to, to for that. So go over there and follow us on there first thing we need to do is say we got a little box yeah we did mystery box do in the post get monty? uh yeah you can go and get monty we got, this box turned up from i don't know if they're watching i haven't seen the name in um charlie and harry who have a youtube channel called i think it's cnh it's a youtube channel they're resellers and they have a channel where they show their pickups i think they're, they're big into video games from the from the uh the videos i've seen and they sent us a box of goodies there's all sorts of random stuff in here these are cool i don't know quite why they sent us these but these are going to be given to my nieces these are frozen baubles frozen baubles <laughs> that sounds painful and the, the coolest thing in the little gift box we got was monty's new collar yeah He's got a collar with cool dog bones and little dog footprints on it, which yeah. suits him perfectly. So, he yeah, thanks it. for that. And the box with other He was so excited cool when we gave in. it to him, wasn't he? He was jumping around and barking. Only because he thought he was going for a walk. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and you may, if you haven't seen the pictures again on Facebook, this is his new sleek summer look. He's normally shaggy and scruffy. 
Yeah, so he yeah. goes all spotty when he's. You can't see yeah, him. he's kind of mottled. Yeah, he goes really spotty when he's been shorn. So yeah, thanks, um, Charlie and Harry for the yeah, box. There was so cool stuff that. in here. Uh, and yeah, sent Ellen, me video games. Ellen ran and... away with the Shrek magnets and the bubbles. I think she had as well. Ellen has <laughs> been playing with the bubbles and the fridge magnets. Uh, just yeah, yeah, blown away by that. So thanks yeah, so much. Thank you. Um, right, you can go off. And, and was was the channel it. called C and H? Yeah, C and H. C and H. So check them out if you can. Okay. There will be a haul coming. I just got a few things I wanted to mention. Right, bear with. Um, right. You done? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's see what's going on. Uh, lots more people popping in. Hello. Sorry to confuse you guys if you didn't realise we were going early a day, going live a day early. <laughs> going early. You're leaving that open. It's so hot. I know. Here. I think I have to. I don't know what it's like where you are if you're in the UK, but today here it was just sweltering. Yeah, I went around the boot, the early boot sales, and I was just sweating like mad. Thanks. Too much information. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, should we crack on with the whole what else? Oh, um, says one Monty is one cool dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was gonna say we've had a um we don't usually we're not organized enough to say how our weeks have been sales wise. eBay and Amazon have been almost exactly the same. Yeah, uh, Amazon's been really good this Yeah, week. Amazon the last couple of days have been fantastic. Yeah. A shipment arrived a couple of days ago and it's been going nuts. Uh, loads of RA. I sent up some of that big haul of vintage computer games to try them out. Uh, sold some SNES stuff. Um, so yeah, not a bad week for us. We did fourteen fifty, almost split fifty fifty between Amazon and eBay, which is unusual. Usual. Normally one is up or yeah. down, depending on which one I'm concentrating on. So yeah, it's been a pretty good week considering how little we actually did. <laughs> the old haggis hunter is in and he says greetings from the tropical land of scotland where the natives are running around half naked with badly burnt white bodies <laughs> that's me I'm, I'm a badly burnt white body i should stop doing Not that as bad as last week <laughs> well i felt my neck going today anyway um yeah i'll do some more of those things i needed to mention later well let's crack on with the hall before people get bored and go and watch the um, rugby jay ben said it's um it's Saturday night, it's my birthday, and I'm, what am I doing? I'm watching Nick and Andrew. Oh, well, happy birthday. You're watching <laughs> a couple of... I hope you've had a more interesting day than watching us. That's what I do on my birthday, watch a couple of middle-aged tat flippers. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's... So I went hunting for tat today, um, and a couple of bits are from charity shops as well. I've done our little box of goodies. Get that out of the way. Um, it's so hot in here. It is hot in here. Oh, I picked this up. This was actually when was that? Did we show that already? We didn't, did we? Mm, I don't think you did because it was still in the living room. I can't remember when I picked this up. It's it's it looks like it's unused Burberry, mm. um, and there's about fifteen to twenty pounds in it, um, and that was a pound. Yeah. So yeah, I don't buy many perfumes, um, but I get had a go at that. Burberry's a pretty good brand. I've bought but you Burberry stuff and myself actually. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was pretty nice. Um, um Darren and the, Caroline are in the chat. Hi guys. And hey. Caroline says fab hair, Andrea. Thank you. Your hair looked really nice in your last video as well. Well me. No, Caroline's <laughs> <laughs> joking. Um yeah, I had uh, a semi fail. Semi fail. Semi fail. <laughs> um at a stall, a guy had loads of vintage stuff, loads of sort of around late 80s early 90s toys books and whatever and he looked like a collector so it put me off a bit Stall was really organized you know when you think someone's a trader mm -hmm. so it sometimes puts me off even asking but i asked prices and everything was really good so i think he was just clearing out some of his own stuff maybe um and i picked up some books these i love 90s turtle stuff these are in fabulous condition all 1990 but there's really not much demand in it um, I paid three pounds for the books, which included those and some Topsy and Tim's. These, they will sell, but I'll just sell them as a bundle. But there's not a lot in it. But thankfully, the, we sold these before. I looked that one up briefly before we went live, and people have got up to five pounds just on that one. Mm. Um, It'll make a nice little bundle, though, wouldn't it? I think I'll do them individually, yeah, looking so. at prices. Well, we sold the bigger ones of the same era. And they've mm. gone really well, haven't they? Yeah. So one person randomly got £9 on the train yeah. journey. 
Okay. But they're going for between average of about three to five or six. So, yeah. so they kind of saved the books. The other ones are meh. But then I paid him ten pounds all in for that lot and a big, big lot of vintage McDonald's stuff. Lots and lots of wind up. These are late eighties, early nineties. There's not a lot of money in a lot of them. These are pretty cool. They're Burger King. These ones. <laughs> Uh, Simpsons Burger King from I think 1990. Yeah. Um, he he was asking 50 pence an item, and then I got about uh, no. This this is cool. There's about 50 plus items in here. Oh, that was oh, something. Is it this is Mighty Match, yeah. And yeah, considering I was paying three pounds for the books, this lot was seven pounds for about 50. So yeah. he came right down from his 50p. This is Mighty Max, uh, which is the boys' version of Polly Pocket, essentially. Right. But it's got it's got stuff in it rattling around. But can I open it? Um, Look, it, I don't want to force it. How the hell? There must be a way. There's a little thingy there, but that doesn't do anything. Maybe you. Oh, oh, hang on. I can't get in it. But yeah, Mighty Max. If you've not seen it before. They're like little Polly Pockets. They usually open up and then they have little figures and stuff in. And there's a real collector's market for that. I haven't looked it up. don't know what it's worth. But as part of this lot, and then some of these are really nice. Um, I think that's one of the ones that he showed that he was selling off yeah, individually. Cool. These are like little transformer style things. But yeah, <laughs> can't open that either. There's some really nice Nintendo. I think these are goob Goobers or Goombas or something and they're meant to stick down and then when they release they pop up but the sticker's gone but yeah just loads and loads i'll make a few bundles up and sell the really good ones individually so for my tenor happy days um i find cassettes almost every week at the minute stack of cassettes uh for a quid don't know what's there 10 or 15 or something that was funky oh this little thing that was in the bag I, I pick these up now and again. Some are good, some are pretty much a waste of time, but it's Franklin, which tend to do quite well. They're like, they do crossword solvers and thesauruses and little pocket dictionaries. I can't get this open. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Yeah, that sort of thing. At 50p or a pound, I normally take a punt. Kevin Rosen says, I broke a Polaroid camera forcing it open last week. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah good. it's like transformers when you get transformers these things made for kids and you just can't get them apart or if you get them apart you can't get them back together do you remember i sold off all those transformers years ago before yeah, doing yeah. youtube and I, I set a load of them up and then i left them set up and shipped them out even though they're all set up and bigger and bulkier because like there's no way i was getting them back together so yeah um today we popped over to stevenage uh to take ellen shopping uh, got a new t-shirt how exciting um says he's athletic and <laughs> Ellen laughed her head off <laughs> yeah how rude we're in the shop and then just cracked up because i was buying an athletic i was athletic well i once. said it was 85 i said he was athletic in 85 i so was that's, that's when i was big into cycling i could cycle hundreds of miles in a day then now i wouldn't go on a bike um but yeah and then we popped in the the mega charity shop that's over there huge cancer research one i think we did a video yeah, the in there. clothing had been pillaged though there was, there was nothing yeah we were <laughs> in there with left. with what 10 minutes before they closed yeah yeah they were cashing up the tools weren't they? I know. we'll have to pop in in a week but it was worth popping in i got an xbox guitar uh for the princely sum of a pound and this is good this is um car we've got the windows open because it's so hot um i've got a load of software that i pick up whenever i see it cheap uh with a game or two i'll get 30 quid back oh, on that. um jay ben said there's videos on youtube showing how to open it oh is there fantastic <laughs> okay i need help with my yeah. kids toy uh austin moore stop drinking the cider nick that's what's wrong with you i've had like two mouthfuls <laughs> I'm not that it's much the, of a lightweight. It's the heat and the lack of sleep. <laughs> it's the lack of sleep, yeah. I'm like a child. If I don't get enough sleep, A, I get grumpy, and then I get hyper. I'm not been grumpy today. No, I actually haven't been today. Cool. That'll be later. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, Gavloft, ultimate force box set bought for 50 pence. 50p? Yeah. Sold for 26. That's the sort of flip I like. Yeah. Goomba, that's who that little brown thing is. Oh, Goomba, okay. I don't know what I said. I don't know. <laughs> They're in like Super Mario Brothers games and that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen them. Yeah. Um, question, Nick. Do you sell sealed tapes on eBay or send to Amazon? Bit of both. Depends where I think they're going to sell better or for more. I've sold them just as well on both platforms. In fact, I had some stuff recalled from Amazon FBA and sold it on eBay quicker and, you know, for similar money and vice versa. I've tried stuff on eBay and then sent it up to Amazon and it's flown out. So, yeah, either or really. Yeah. Some stuff isn't listed on Amazon, you'll find. Um, that can be a problem. Uh, Richard Payne, I have a carrier bag full of that Mighty Max stuff to research. Been on the shelf for about six months. Take a look. It will motivate you to get it listed. There's some really good money in, in certain stuff. I've not had any for ages. I've just not seen it. Right. Mothership There's products. Question, That's Dwayne. Oh, yeah. There's a question from Hustle. I don't know if you want to answer that. It's about um, Amazon. Uh, what, Hustle? Yeah. That, hey, great content as, content as always. Thank you very much. Question. I have an Amazon Pro account and I'm trying to understand the overall volume of each category. For example, how large is the book category versus the toys? Any advice? The book category is absolutely massive in the like five, six million odd. Yeah. Well, being as they and they are a specialist bookseller, really. That's yeah. Started, so. It's tricky because I don't tend to go on sales rank um as to whether i buy it or not i try to ch if i'm if i'm in doubt whether i'm going to pick something up I, I check on camel to see the regularity of its sales if that makes any sense like in books if a book sells once a month it will drop down into the millions fairly rapidly but if it still sells that once a month and you can pick one up for 50p and it's selling for 20 or 30 pounds it's still worth doing even if when you scan it it scans at like one or two million if it regularly sells once a month i'll still pick it up but you need to find out your own logic of how you do the whole Amazon search thing yeah. and, and what's a good pickup and what's not because everyone has an opinion on how to do it. Yeah. Um, no right yeah, I was saying that's Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne. Um, Dwayne is on the reseller six pack show that I've, I've got involved with, which is great fun. We're not doing that tomorrow night if you guys have been following us on there because a lot of the guys that do that are at the reseller rally, which I wanted to mention. There's some great videos coming out. Chad's done one and Lonnie did a live stream. Uh, so I hope they're having a fantastic time. Um, what did Dwayne say? Do you, he said, do you ever get enough do sleep? Do you ever get enough sleep? Yeah, because I lie in. <laughs> you do. But fr Friday morning, you go, you went to bed at like three in the morning, didn't you? you and at nine o'clock, you were stood there like up, ready to go. And up and working. I don't know what it's happened like, that day. What's, what's wrong with you? I don't know. What have you done with my husband? <laughs> <laughs> Darren's got some info. The Sting Scorpion Mighty Max should be... Hang on, let me find it. Right, read how I do it, can you? And I'll find oh, the thing. Um, should just be fold tail back and open from the back. Might be something catching inside. It can be quite tough to open. Ooh. Oh, I've still got a faucet. What, so like that? And then like... Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to go. Imagine if I snapped it off live on air. Might be some swearing on this channel if that happens. Nah, whatever. Another child's toy has beaten me. I'll check out the video. Apparently, there's a video. So, um, right. Oh, Lisa's in. Hi, Lisa and Kirsten. Oh, I think we said hi to Kirsten already. Uh, popping in to say hello. Fantastic. Um... Fakrul Siraj has said, from your experience, do you find boot sales are better in towns or better in more rural areas? Or is there little to no difference generally? On balance, I think the ones that are a bit out of the way are better mm. because the dealers and the traders don't go there as much. Yeah. And plus, if you're near a more affluent area, you're probably going to get better stuff. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I think you just have to try all of your local ones and find out which ones work for you. You know, because we go to quite a variety, don't we, in, in towns and out in the middle of nowhere. 
and yeah check your local ones really it'll depend what you've got around you um nick i've sent a pic of it open what well, just to tease me <laughs> <laughs> Jay sent me a picture of uh, whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll figure that out and I'll get back to you. Um, what else was I going to say? I'll come to that later. Right, more random gear. Oh, yeah, I saw this in a box of CDs. Asked the lady how much the CDs were. 50 pence. Happy days. It's not the PlayStation game. That's what I initially thought as I was flicking through. It's actually the PC version. And I wasn't sure if there's any money in it, but I grabbed it anyway because it's Final Fantasy. Uh, and it's not too bad. This originally came in a big, you know, like the big style cardboard PC box ones. Mm -hmm. If you've got it in its big box, it's worth considerably more. If you've got it sealed, you're looking up to 100. At like that, it's about a tenner. Mm -hmm. Because that's how most of them end up, I think. And it should have a book with it and stuff. No, it's not a complete fail. No, not a fail at all. And it's in really nice condition. It's got its little manual inside and three discs. So, yeah, worth picking up if you see it, even more so with its big box. This, weirdly, I've had before. You all right? Yeah, I'm looking at the picture of um, Well, I'm trying to find the picture of it open. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of these. When I uh, when we had the meetup in Hitchin and all the guys came up, I had a big uh, sealed media hall, and I had one of these new. I ended up splitting it. Uh, so I sold the Sony bag on its own for fifteen pounds. The battery for train. <laughs> the battery for a train. <laughs> I sold the battery. Swap the battery for a train. Okay. Ah, cool. Right. This is what I should be seeing if I can ever <laughs> open my Mighty Max. Yeah. So that's June. So J Ben is June. I, I thought it was, but I wasn't quite sure. J is June. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so I picked one of these up. Um, it's because my name's June Bentley, is it? Is that right? I don't know. Yes. June, June Bentley, so I guess J Ben, that makes sense. So um, thank you, June. And this was £2. And everything inside is actually new. The battery is sealed. It's randomly got a high 8 tape in it. And the uh, carry bag is sealed. Can't remember what I got for the battery, like lithium ion battery. But yeah, for a couple of pounds. I don't know, I think that might have been about a tenner, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, I'm making it up. So, yeah, that was all good. Um, and then today, this morning, whilst I was sweltering in the heat, I saw Richard again, uh, bumped into him a couple of times. Um, and at the second one, I did try and vlog today. I don't know what footage I've got, but I'll try and make a video out of it. I forgot to take my little fancy harness thing. So I was just holding my phone and filming. I think it's easier, probably. Well, maybe. Because it wasn't really showing anything, was it? Where you had the height you had it. We tried to film at the jumble, didn't we? Yeah. And all you could see was like what's there, and yeah. I was looking you, you at stuff see, down there. Yeah, you couldn't see anything down that you were actually looking at, and you couldn't see anybody's faces. So all you could see was just. <laughs> yeah, people's backs yeah. or or nothing really. Yeah. So I've either got to like walk around like that and look at stuff or tilt it forward or just not use it at all anyway and there's a guy at the boot sale i went to second today that sells cds and it's all new stuff a lot of it's promo i think he's got contacts within the industry and just gets loads of promo stuff um and normally his prices are well there's one six and four you read that four and I, i've never bothered looking because he has so much stuff and to find the odd thing that would be worth flipping on, on amazon or whatever just not worth the time but for whatever reason he had three or four crates big sign saying everything 50p yeah i think he was just trying to clear old stock yeah but there was so much good stuff in there i ended up do you want to be glamorous assistant oh that's yeah. what i say <laughs> i was looking for somewhere to put it but there isn't really anywhere it's a bit like cracker jack should we play cracker jack Ooh, I see, oh, I could see, agree. see how old you are in the chat if you remember Cracker Jack. <laughs> Let me see if anyone does. It was all of that and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, I think it was about 50 in the end I got. Uh, a lot of it's sealed. Um, it's all new, but it's been to quite a few boot sales. So some of the card sleeves are a little bit dogged. But I, scan, I stood there for half an hour in this blazing heat, scanning it all into Amazon. And there's some really nice stuff here. Mm. I don't, I'd be guessing, but at least a couple of hundred pounds worth, hopefully. 
and um, I got the whole lot for 20. it disappears, um, reselling Polly has asked me a question. She said, what is your favourite thing to source? Um, and I would say vintage clothing and vintage toys, probably. Yeah. And anything that is nostalgic. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love yeah anything anything really vintage homeware anything vintage. Just For me, vintage. my my comfort zone is media. This sort of thing, computer games, CDs, DVDs. I mean, we had a, a media shop for the best part of a decade. We used to work in Virgin and R Price. Oh my God, we've got super chats. Wow, Quillen again. You are too generous. Has <laughs> has super chatted us two dollars, and Dwayne wow. has just wow. super chatted five. Oh, thank you, guys. Cheers. That's amazing. <laughs> so do you, do you buy rock concert T-shirts? We do, actually. Is yeah. that the question? Oh, yeah. well, when we went, I don't know if you mean when we went to see Depeche Mode last week. Yeah. I would have, but the T-shirts were £30. I was thinking to source. to. Yeah, if you mean do we buy them yeah. at gigs, if they're reasonable, yeah, sure. Do we buy them to resell? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Uh, 30 pounds for a t-shirt and the hoodie oh you may have seen the video the hoodies were 60 pounds they weren't anything fancy yeah just a bog standard hoodie with a depeche book graphic on it yeah i didn't know what that was when it came up i was thinking why, why is that highlighted <laughs> yeah there's an option which i i just switched on the other week that yeah. allows people to yeah, to I basically send you a, a tip i don't yeah. know that's cool. but, just yeah thank you so much blows me away cheers guys yeah, my comfort zone is media, and then I, I love toys and games. I suppose that's what I enjoy picking up. You might, There's a tower of board games, and there's loads more on the other oh, one. Oh, he's talking vintage rock T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we yeah, find if them. If we find them, definitely. I picked yeah, up a couple of Led Zeppelin ones, didn't I? But they, they weren't vintage. Were, they weren't ones, vintage. They were repro ones of old tours. They're still worth doing. Though. Yeah. And I had a really nice – I love Carter USM. You probably the Americans that are watching probably won't have heard of Carter the Unstoppable Sex Machine, a punk sort of indie band from the 90s. And I found an early tour t shirt of theirs, and that went for 30 or 40 pounds. And I got it for 50p. Remember that one? Yeah. I had I used to have loads of t shirts to them, I just wore them until they were threadbare yeah, and threw them yeah, out. Um, Dwayne said, Was Cracker Jack from Germany? I don't know if it was originally, but we had it in the UK. I, I it was like know. a kids program where they had kids to TV do show. different. Um, so, I don't know. How do you even describe it? it was kids, messy. kids went on and tried to win <laughs> prizes, and the end game was Crazy. one of the kids would stand there and and they'd keep loading them up with prizes. Yeah. Wouldn't they? And if you dropped one, you were out. Yeah. Or something like that. So you ended up with these people stood there with heaps of prizes. Oh, excuse me, the cider's repeating on me. Anyway, shall I show more junk? Yes. <laughs> That's what everyone's here for, not the random chat, yeah. although I think people and enjoy there was it. Like, there was all kinds, wasn't there? There was um, a magician who ended up marrying, was he? He was Cracker Jack, wasn't he? What? The Great Soprendo. You know Victoria Wood? Yes, wasn't he on Cracker Jack? I don't know. I, I might be getting confused here. My, yeah, my young <laughs> brain getting two programmes confused, but... um. Yeah, I, I, thought he was I think we've lost chat. him in the chat. There's, that, nobody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> um, today, I was actually vlogging at this point. I don't know if it came out. I was vlogging as I looked in a box, and I found this little beauty, but it's not as good as I thought it was. No. Now, if you guys follow Zaheer, which you should do, um, he has spoken about these Olympus Mu, is it Mu, MJU cameras before. This is not the really valuable one. I was like, oh, you said, is this good? And he said, oh, it's good, but not. not I texted right him a picture and I went, oh, is this the good one? And he's like, uh, no. <laughs> this is, I did look it up. I think there's still 20 in it, maybe 20, 30. It's got a manual, so that'll add a little bit. But the Mew 2, like a follow on version, is 100, isn't it? 100 plus, 150, 200. Yeah, yeah. Don't know, I've never had one. <laughs> it's good anyway. Whatever so it is. that'll be in the vlog, hopefully, me going, ooh, in a box and then buying it for a pound. Yeah, Gary said that the crankies were from um, Cracker Jack as well. Cranky. They used to freak me out as a child. I couldn't work if the, work out if the little one was like a boy, a girl, a man, a woman, what? Well, that's what it was supposed to be. She, she was supposed to be a little boy. 
And weren't they a couple? They were married. Oh, they are so married. weird. <laughs> Dressed up as a school kid on TV with her, her husband, who looked like her dad. Yeah. She's so small. <laughs> so it's just all weird. So hot in here. I'm getting sweaty. Really um, I've had these before, but all I've had is the CD set, and I've sold that okay. I found one with the Zumba sticks. Mm -hmm. And they're okay. <laughs> um, it looks unused. That one's certainly sealed. I did look it up and I can't remember now what they go for. I think it's pretty good. Uh, and that was a pound. And, and June said, don't forget the cabbage, Nick. Oh, yeah. What was that about? They had to hold a cabbage. <laughs> I don't what, know. what was the cabbage? What did the cabbage mean? Or was that if you got a question wrong or something? I can't remember. Oh, it's. That was like really late seventies, early eighties, so I'd have been young. Yeah. Um more goodies. I'm just gonna keep showing you random stuff. Um I was quite pleased with this. Haven't tested it yet, but I do have the charger. It's a Sony um it's a DV one, I think. It takes little tiny tapes. It's got a cool flip around viewfinder. Importantly, it's got the battery, but I haven't tested it. Um, Darren have a said that he was in Norfolk today and in a charity shop he found some um, Metallica vintage t-shirts where they wanted £40 each. In a charity shop they wanted £40? Yeah, it's disappeared now. I thought I'd get that in quickly. Well, Quillen's just super chatted us again. <laughs> Thank you. Um, ever go to Reading Festival? Um, look up 92 t-shirts. 92 Reading. Wow, I bet they had a big headline of actors on it or a famous was one. Was it Guns N' Roses? Maybe. Guns N' Roses, thinking. 92, could have been. Maybe. Yeah, they were huge. They'd just done Use Your Illusion then. Yeah. Might be, I don't know. Yeah. I'm only guessing. Thanks for the super chat. We, we'll answer your question or we'll try to if you don't anyway. But yeah, really appreciate that. Um, Darren said a minute ago he sold his last Mew, one of those cameras, for 35. So yeah, cool. 35 top end then. Um, we Willie Cranky, now leader of the Scottish National Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. I was just looking at this. I thought this was the charger, but oh, Lee Michelle says if you've got if you've got a question wrong, you've got a cabbage. She thinks. Sounds oh, about right. that, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Joan says the same thing. I imagine this would have a little thing to slot the battery in. Or maybe you charge it whilst it's in. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's got a slot there for this. So I guess you charge it whilst it's attached. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll quit waffling. I paid five pounds for that. Fingers crossed it's going to be working because I'm looking at 70 to 80. Perhaps with all the extras, I might push for 90 or more. And if you got three cabbages, you lost all your prizes. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember. I just remember them trying to balance all their stuff. That's all I remember. And being so jealous of the random toys they were being given. So anyway, in case you didn't see what that was, it's Handycam DCR HC19E. Little compact Sony. And it takes tiny little tapes, I believe. Nirvana headlined Reading in 92. Ah, Nirvana, yes. Yeah, that'll be right. That makes sense. Um, this was cool. This is a kid's single duvet cover and pillowcase. It's Harry Potter, but importantly, it's what you would call vintage Harry Potter. So it's, what's that? It's 2001, uh, and it's like a Quidditch one. So you've got yeah, Harry catching this. really cool, isn't it? Yeah. And people have been getting for the, it's in really nice condition as well, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, I think you've got the same image, maybe a bigger image with more on the actual duvet colour. Oh, it smells lovely. Is it? Check that out. Yeah. Mm. They have nice washing powder. Yeah. Whoever that was. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I looked these up. Um, you can get brand new current ones for, for cheaper than these go for secondhand. Uh, so there is a, a definite demand. People have been getting up to £30 each on these. And that was £2. So I'll do that all day long. Now this weighs a tonne. And I'll show you what's funny about this. 
Like, seriously. Yeah, it's dynamic, isn't it's it? like, I don't know what that is, six, eight kilos even. And what it is, it's a Betamax player, but no ordinary Betamax player. It comes in two parts. There you go, top and bottom. But it's portable. <laughs> Yeah, if you're if you're like Hulk Hogan, it's portable. <laughs> I can barely hold it up. It's such a chunky piece of kit. It's absolutely massive. I did send Zahir a couple of shots of this, and he thought it was like broadcast grade or something. So you know, high end. Um, I did look into it. There's not much on eBay about it because I don't think they're that common. Obviously, Beta Max wasn't around for long anyway. Stuart What's that? says smelling things again, Nick. <laughs> Oh, Stuart in there. Hey, Stuart, how you doing? Uh, yeah. Southwest Sellers, what's that? Gary says, Nick, got 90 for that handicap. There you go, so 90. Mm -hmm. Usually, you'll find, if I say a price in this, generally, I, I earn a side of caution. I don't want to give out wrong information if I can help it. When I come to listings, I usually add a 10 or a 20 or 30 anyway. Uh, it doesn't always work out, but yeah, that's cool. I'll probably aim for the top end of that then. Uh, Blitz, and it was the twentieth anniversary Reading Festival. Okay. Oh, I bet they did a load of anniversary yeah. graphics as well. Then um, it's Harry Potter vintage because Harry has no stubble. <laughs> Fair enough. Nick is always sniffing stuff. No, that's that's Z's territory. Don't tar me with that brush. Oh, <laughs> Monty has been teaching him. Yeah, Monty sniffs. When we take Monty for a walk, it takes forever. He sniffs every damn blade of grass no feels. you get so annoyed you end up pulling him away oh. him. all he wants to do is sniff it and wee on it you pull him away yeah but it's everything it's, it's like you take another two one steps pleasure he has in life <laughs> whatever anyway this beast of a portable machine let me lift it again it's like it's like bricks it is that heavy but it is a okay because cool... you're athletic i'm athletic that's right yeah it is really funky it's very sort of um well, it's so 80s, isn't it? And I did look into it. Like I say, there's not many completed. Beta Max was here and then it was gone. So it never stuck around for a while or for long. Um, I found a few examples. One that was unworking went for 26 on bids. I don't think bids is the way to go with this because it's so niche. Um, one working went for 63 with shipping. Uh, another one went for spares or repairs, 34 with shipping. And then one working went for 95 with shipping okay but we can't test it really can so here said he's got some tapes so i might oh, be able to get hold of a tape all right it's not in the best of condition it's a bit grubby and bashed around but i'm certainly not going to lose out oh i didn't say what i paid i paid three i saw it i saw it was beta max it was sony i thought he's going to come out high and he goes four pounds oh, like, oh okay three <laughs> i can't help myself <laughs> <It's> so cheeky <laughs> It's like a, re it's a natural reaction to just make an offer. I don't even think about it anymore. Yeah. Okay, so that was that. Oh my god, this thing is ridiculous. But remember, it's portable, folks. Um, Indeed. And then I think I showed Richard this when I bumped into him. Actually, hang on, I got stuff everywhere as usual. I found this at a store. The box is nothing to do with the actual thing that's inside it. I'm not sure what the box is all about. Castello Banfi. That's wine, isn't it? Castello? Sounds like it should be. Anyway, this wooden box is quite cool, but it's not related to what's in it. This is Hero Scape. And it's MB. In a way, it's similar to Hero Quest, but I think it's a game you can expand on. So it's a bit like hero quest mixed with games workshop um the guy wanted 20 pounds and he wasn't budging i nearly just took it but then i sloped off and had a quick look and i thought yeah it's worth a punt um there's i think i counted 40 plus figures um and i've seen people getting for three or four figures at a time anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds so I don't know whether that was because they were rare figures or special mm. ones, but did you read Darren's comments? It's when you sell the Betamax, add prop into the title. Oh, okay, for films and stuff. Mm, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. 
So, oh, he's lost his wing. Oh, here we go. So there's some cool figures in here. I don't know if they're rare ones or if they're going to be valuable or, or what, but I think my £20 is more than safe when I've seen, you know, completed ones. Like I say, for two or three figures, go for £20. Yeah. So there's a bag with about 40 in there. And then I've seen, if you search Hero Escape Completed, you'll see people selling lots of this scenery. This all clips together. You've got, like, I guess that's sea and that's land, don't know. And then you've got these little walls which clip in like that. And there's loads of it. There's absolutely loads of it. And people have been getting for this sort of amount, sort of 30, 40 quid. So I'm in profit on the scenery, I'd imagine. Yeah. And then whatever I can get out of that bag. But I think my £20 was well spent. I don't know. I've never seen that before. I've never seen it. No. But I think that was a good one. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you want to read something in the chat or you can shall I scroll down? Oh, you are scrolled down. Someone That's said fine. Castello, what Castello Banfi is. Oh, it's a luxury hotel in Montecito. No, Montalcino, sorry, I haven't got the glasses on. Um, nearby Siena in Tuscany. A wonderful venue for your wedding and your holidays. Get the box sold. Oh, yeah. Sounds like they're a rep for the I place. I know, I was going to say, you've sold it to you me. you sold I'm it, off. yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the, the box might have a bit of value on its own. Yeah. Okay. I'll see if I can sell it. That's, I like a challenge. Who remembers the old wired VCR remotes? No. Did you have a wired VCR? I remember top loaders mm. where they used to go boing out the top. Yeah. And then you slide them in and oh, push yeah, them down. Yeah. yeah, my nan and granddad had them. And they were really fat and chunky, yeah. weren't they, back then? Um, I think all I've really got to look at that I've bought in is a few board games. I can show really? you board games. I bought loads. Um, there's a few more unusual ones which might be of interest. I know people get bored of me showing board games, but I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to put my disclaimer out there about board games. Board games can be very seasonal. A lot of board games, in fact, you could say most board games aren't worth the time and effort. You need to be selective. And in my opinion, sell them at the right time of year quite often. Yeah. And most of them go to Amazon. We sell a lot on Amazon. Not all, but we sell on Amazon. And we, we get higher prices because we do FBA. But then some things go better on eBay. Do your research is all I'm saying. Don't just go willy-nilly. I know people have gone berserk buying board games. And then it's like, next fault, I've got a house full of board games. This is cool. It's pristine, and inside it looks like it's not really been played. It might have been played once. I'm sure you're all familiar with Family Guy. Sorry. Hello. Um, yeah, I didn't know they did Family Guy Monopoly. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. A lady, well, the whole family had a stall, and one side was just laid out on the grass. Must have been 30-odd board games. They'd had a proper clear out, and I'd bought... I bought the camcorder off them as well, and I got the camcorder for a fiver. They wanted a tenner. I got the camcorder for a fiver because I bought half their board games. So anyway, a Monopoly I've not seen before. Uh, does have pretty good value on Amazon. Not sure about eBay. This I wouldn't normally bother with, but it's sealed. And, oh, Mr. Edmonds, deal or no deal. I only picked up because it was sealed. I'm not sure what the used value is. Um, sealed on Amazon, I think the cheapest was about 35 or 40. So worth taking a punt for a pound. A couple more sealed ones. I went over to Luton, our favorite place. We don't mind going over to, there's a big Arndale shopping center there, but the actual town these days is, oh, it's not nice. I can't. I can't. Oh, you're stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, for. <laughs> anyway, I, I picked up a deal on Facebook, uh, a big Wii bundle, really good price, uh, which I won't show you because we all know what a Wii looks like. Um, and on the. <laughs> yeah, about like this. <laughs> or this. Or that, yeah. We samples. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> um, let's have a look in the chat before I bore people with more board games. Kirsten's Curiosities. I don't buy board games anymore. Got fed up with missing pieces. Yeah, I totally sympathise with that. Um, I, I love them and I, 
I said before, there's, there's a side of me that enjoys all of that part of it, checking them, mm -hmm. counting them. Something wrong yeah, with me. Should, you just love them. You just love board games. I do. I love playing them. I always have done, and I love buying them and selling them. So it's just a niche that I, I enjoy. Um, Lots of talk about vintage TVs. <laughs> vintage TVs. Yeah, about the times when um, there was only three channels, and then um, Channel Four. Channel Four, and we were all so excited. We got four channels, and then Channel Five came out. Ninety-seven. The Spice Girls did the opening. Yeah, and everybody thought oh, that's a bit rubbish. <laughs> I don't know. That's, it's, it's improved. They now. had some pretty wacky stuff. Didn't they have the naked darts on that? Was that, that, that. Yeah, I don't think. Did I was, dream that? I don't know, probably. Keith Chegwin, didn't no, he do it? what your dreams like. <laughs> anyway, there was uh, Beaknik. Yes, it's all Nick's fault. Yeah. I am to blame for people having wardrobes full of <laughs> crappy board games up and down the country. Uh, is the board broken in half? Oh, yeah. It's a. It's, uh, you know what that's referring yes, to. I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that video. Um, the wired remote plugged. Oh, we're back on videos again. The wired remote plugged into the VCR and tripped up passing family and pets. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we had one of those. It was it was either um, get up and change the channel, or then we got a remote, so I didn't have to do that. Yeah, we were always way behind in our family. We didn't get a color TV till I was like six or something. <laughs> And we we didn't have a video until I was about twenty. Yeah, I had a black and white portable TV in my bedroom, um, mm. and Mum had a just a colour one in there. Get you I so know, posh. But yeah, I used to watch Top of the Pops and Fame. I watched the whole series of Fame in black and white, and it never seemed to make any difference because no. I remember it in colour. <laughs> you filled it in. You <laughs> yeah, coloured it in in I your think head. I did. <laughs> anyway, we are we are digressing. Um. Yeah, talking about tripping over things, that, that was always a problem with when I had the snares and then moved on to things like PlayStation. That We always had wired controllers and somebody had run through, or when I was a student in our student digs, somebody had just leg it through the living room and take the blooming console out from under the telly and the oh, carnage because they just wouldn't see the, or like you say, your dog had come through Yeah. and just rip it all off. Okay. Stuart said he picked up a Star Wars Monopoly for £4 the other day. Star Wars can be good, yeah, yeah, definitely. Some of the obscure monopolies are well worth looking up. A lot of them don't go for big money, but the odd ones do. Some of the city ones are good. Um, I remember when um, TV got to like midnight, and then you'd get the yeah, yeah you, I remember you'd that. get the national anthem. You get the national anthem. My my great granddad used to stand up and salute, <laughs> and then you go to bed. Yeah, rolling in from the pub, sitting down, watching some crap Euro trash or something. No, that was that was no, ITV. That was later. That was anyway, watching something, and then you wake up at three in the morning to just yeah. and like, yeah. yeah, we're so old. Um, <laughs> yes, Cheggers Channel 5 naked. There you go. Oh. I didn't dream it. Cheggers naked, yeah. What a thought. Um, Kurt Potts says, Hi, both. Do you sell your used board games on FBA? And if yes, how do you prep them to prevent? contents were falling out um i've got a couple of methods and i'm about to change it again um what i've done in the past is just put a strip of uh packing paper around it and then seal it on the back just to hold the lid down but when i, I had a couple return that weren't selling when i had a big purge of bad stock and they came back and this strip had been ripped off in some cases it had vanished or it and it yeah so i, I realized that wasn't perhaps too safe then I started bagging them in giant clear poly bags. I know some people wrap it in cling film, which just seems a bit messy to me. But at the moment, I am bagging them. Um, but I've ordered a load of little round clear discs. Um, yes, I think I ordered them. I've either ordered them or I was going to do it today. <laughs> um, that are peelable and they go over the lid, the bit where it joins. So you could stick a couple or four if you want to be sure. And then, yeah, I just want to be sure I got get peelable ones is my only concern. Anyway, pick this up. House of Anubis, bit obscure. It's a kids' TV show on Nickelodeon. Yeah, Ellen used to love it about five years ago. Yeah, a <laughs> couple of pounds. Can't remember, but it has a really good price on Amazon sealed. I guess it's discontinued and there's just not many about. Um, 
so that was cool likewise this is cool this is old well I say old it's about 2000 is it I don't know. Uh, yeah, 2003 2003 uh i guess when angel of darkness came out which was on ps2 wasn't it i think yeah sealed ball game for that and again i think the value on ebay is pretty poor but on amazon for new um it had a good price and that was a pound another monopoly i haven't had so many out there is this one looks really cool check his eyes out <laughs> you see on the screen yeah, yeah spun club monopoly again from that same stall where stuff was it was either new or opened and played once that's awesome yeah it's got funky little characters oh, yeah, in it. Oh, they're just a little um i think they're the equivalent of, of houses yeah well they're pineapples isn't, oh, I don't know. I isn't don't that know. the um the little crabby cafe oh i don't know i don't watch spongebob but look at the pieces yeah like pewter oh. pieces they are so so cool as what's his name yeah. what's the pink guy called i don't know little oh. snail <laughs> Anyway, so all their board games were a pound, uh, and that's another one that's put away cool. for Christmas, I think. That one. Yeah. Uh, another one of these, had one last week. I actually sent the other one in already to Amazon. I think uh, it was about 30 quid, I think I'm asking on it, somewhere about there. I don't know. So another one of those. That, which I'm sure everyone's had before. This looks like a cool game. This is the one we want to try lyric yeah i've had it before and i sold it on amazon this was a charity shop today for two pounds yeah that looks pretty cool i sold it one christmas at amazon when everyone else had sold out for, for really good money i don't think there's a lot of money in it right now but that's right up our street i'm guessing it's like a music quiz yeah yeah oh we should take this around joe's sorry <laughs> i literally forgot we were still on air then <laughs> Yeah, I'm, that, de I'm definitely, definitely overtired now. <laughs> oh, I forgot where I was for a second. <laughs> this is weird. I have actually seen this before, but I've never bought yeah. one. Yeah, Caroline really wanted this. It's Pink Scrabble, <laughs> and I thought maybe it's something a bit different or they've added to it. No, it's just pink. So you've got a pink board. You've got pink letter racks, pink bag, <laughs> and you've guessed it. Pink tiles. Pink tiles. Talk about milk in a franchise. But that looks just yeah, mint. Cool. I mean, this was from the same place where everything was a pound. And sometimes you know the games are just going to be complete because they've been so looked after or not really used, more to the point. So, yeah, pound for that. Don't know what it's worth, but it was cool. Um, and then this, yeah. one of my um, favourites. Go on. Dwayne said it's, it was for breast cancer awareness. Is that, was it? Oh, this one. I don't know. Yes. I completely missed that bit. Show your breasts <laughs> some love. So, yeah, it was a charity thing, I guess. Yeah. How did I miss oh, that? And it says here, breast cancer awareness. Oh, I'm so not with it. <laughs> yeah, I completely missed all the massive bits on it telling me that's what it was. Oh, cool. So I assume that was a limited thing. It might be, might have a bit of value then. Don't know. Yep. Have a look, Darren. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, mate. Oh, he says there, breast cancer awareness. Yeah. Yeah. They're making a Tomb Raider film. I would wait until then and aim high. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Good plan. Stephen Moore. Mmm. Love the board game. See, some people like him. So many great variations of Monopoly out there, says oh, yeah. Peter. Brilliant just asked who opened for Depeche Mode, but Gary's answered him, the horrors. The horrors, yeah. yeah I didn't like the horrors. I'm a couple saying. of the tracks were okay, but they the thing is at a gig like that, everyone's just just so anticipating Depeche Mode. It's hard to really even I thought they were a bit boring to be honest. It's yeah, they didn't get they didn't get the crowd going really. And because they were the 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 before act and it's an open air stadium, it was just daylight and it, there's no real atmosphere. Even when mode came on, it was still daylight and it was a bit odd. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. yeah. 
and he says i'm really pumped to see the opening act in um new york a girl band called war paint war sounds paint. more interesting than the horrors i have to say <laughs> i will look them up yeah. if you follow us on facebook you'll know that this week i started something i'm going to try and remember to do and that's share a track from a band or artist i've discovered or something from my past that i'm really into that i'm currently revisiting and listening to so this week it was john grant who i implore everyone to check out john grant he is he does like to swear though oh he swears a bit but not always he does amazingly heartfelt ballads as well and yeah yeah just check him out honestly anyway so yeah scrabble for rest research yes or cancer research right a couple more before i send you all to sleep <clears throat> And there's, like I said, there's loads more of the kind of bog standard stuff in the living room. One of my favourites, again, really nice condition. Again. Well, ooh. apart from the back. Oh, I didn't no, just notice there. that. I'll just get that off a little bit. I might sponge off. Um, yeah, the last one of these I sent into Amazon and got, was it 40? It might have been 40 or 30. Yeah. Out of season, like about a month or so. But... Um, but that was because it was, I think I made a video about that one, didn't I? It was really, really good condition. I've not actually looked in this one yet. Should I have a look? Oh, where's my pen knife when I need it? Mm. Bear mm. with, bear with. Nice. Have a look in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, but I haven't seen anything yet. Um... Oh, Gary said the sound system wasn't set up for horrors. Well, maybe, but it just wasn't my sort of thing anyway. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was just a bit boring. He was, it... he was dressed to kill with his like, <laughs> glitter and and his face paint and stuff, but he was just, he just wind on. It's a tough, it's opinion. a tough gig though, opening for a, <laughs> for a band that big. I think but... it's just not my sort of music now. Mm. Um... I knew they were the support, so I did actually watch a few videos on YouTube and they came across much better in video format and their recorded sound was a lot better. I don't know if this is in relation to something else that's been said, but Peter Ray says, I think everyone is still learning about the reselling business and it doesn't matter how long you've been in the game. I think that's really true, actually, because we, we're still learning every single day. Well, you have and to. Things change as well. So things that we used to do, we wouldn't do now. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. I think you, the actual game itself moves on, as in you know things become less valuable trends move on the actual platforms change and evolve but so do you as a person and what you're into and what you enjoy selling or what suits your business model as it evolves just changes and for me i don't know about yourself but i get bored and have to challenge myself and push myself yeah i don't get um, bored as quickly as you do <laughs> <laughs> but the core stuff stays the same i've always been into toys and games and that stays the core and then i kind of branch off and and i'm like that dog in up <laughs> okay he's like <coughs> squirrels yeah that one. yeah you are yeah that's very true shiny things like the, go the gold i didn't get any gold that silver that was a real <gasps> shiny things i've got to try this out that's one of those moments people keep asking me um if um, I enjoyed the Monty Python thing. We haven't watched it yet. We haven't watched it yet. No. Are we going to watch it tonight? Don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Again, said this before. Genius. Print the damn instructions on the back of the lid. See, there was plenty of common sense around in the yeah. 80s. So with it's these, cost, isn't it, something now? Yeah. If you pick one of these up, you have to check you've got a full complement of the faces on the cards. Otherwise, it ruins the game, basically. I'm not going to check them now, but I do have. I picked one of these up once, and I don't know how, but there were two complete sets of cards in. So yeah. I've had a spare set that I've been taking oh, old ones okay. out of for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Throwback back time. I still remember every one of these faces. If there's any youngsters in, they'll be like, what the hell are these people talking about? What's <laughs> Cracker Jack? Who are these strange faces? I was thinking it's like Prince Charles. <laughs> Prince Charles, yeah, definitely. We were watching uh, Troop in the Colour, weren't we? Today? Yes. Oh, I love it. Alfred. He. This was the um, serial killer guy. <laughs> Doesn't he look like he's dodgy as hell? You wouldn't he, trust. He looks like he's got a motorbike parked out the back. You wouldn't trust him, would you? You wouldn't let him look after your cat. 
He looks like the guy um, from the news. Yeah, doesn't he? Uh, um, John Simpson. John Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> we could go on all night. Burn it. Ah. Yeah, I liked her. Uh, I always thought she was French. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, no. I've also called her Martha. Maria. Maria. Yeah. Maria. With the berry on. <laughs> Stuart, did you ever beat Alison at that game? I think I won the last one. Oh, this word game that you played. Yeah, I'm playing my sister basically at Scrabble on, on the phone. Yeah. Um, Gary says I should watch White Gold. I've seen it advertised actually. I've not really We've not watched it. caught up with that yet. Yeah. Oh, Stuart, tell Alison it's her go. And I've got an amazing <laughs> word lined up and she needs to have her go. <laughs> Okay, anyway, that looks really cool. Uh, you get two boards, obviously, with the same faces on the boards. Oh, sounds yeah. of the 80s. <laughs> no, that's a Sarah Cox thing on radio, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm rapidly running out of random oh, tap to Joe share. Joe Berman said, I'm 19, I've got no clue what's going on. <laughs> Most of this stuff is older than you that we're talking about. This is a new one on me. This is Super Cluedo Challenge. Um, and it looked pretty good. I did look it up and I can't remember. I think top end it's 15 to 20 pounds. So not amazing. You're not going to get rich doing it. But it's the sort of game that for me at least, I'll pick up for a pound. So. And I've not had it before. So I wanted to yeah, find out about it. really cool. Yeah, yeah. So is it is it split? Oh, someone split the board in half. It's broken. It's broken. Give me a refund. <laughs> for those that have watched our channel for a long time, you know what we're talking about. All right. So that was cool. I really like that. This looks unplayed. Yeah. Well, not played much at all. Mm. If at all. all in little baggies. Um. Unless I went and grabbed more stuff, I think we're just going to... Well, it is nine o'clock, chat, so, yeah. chat in the chat. Chat in the chat oh. and then get on with our Saturday night. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Yeah, next... You're stuck again. <laughs> I was talking about Dwayne, uh, Mothership Products. He's got a new channel and he's making videos now, so go and check him out when you can. Um, the reseller six-pack is not happening tomorrow, but it's on this channel the week after but it runs late because it's kind of on us time because apart from me everyone's in america um but yeah i will be hosting that with a load of uh, my reseller friends from america uh anything up to eight or nine of us potentially on this channel at one o'clock in the morning next sunday so if you can stay if you can manage to stay up for that yeah i'll we, just catch up the next day <laughs> we basically all drink beer that's and, why it's called the six pack and it? various other substances yeah Sub that sounded wrong no yeah. other drinks alcohol <laughs> <laughs> alcohol yeah and have a chat about reselling uh we tend to have a theme i don't know what my theme is going to be yet i need to come up with a theme if i'm going to do that yeah so that'll be cool yes. um i want to say a huge thank you to the support on our website again um people that are going over there and subscribing for notifications have shot up recently so that's fantastic um, we are getting more regular with our posts. We've been, I was going to say we've been really busy. We've just been lazy. Um, but we are getting more posts up there all the time. So that's building as a, as a resource for people to go and check stuff out. Um, and I finally did, Mon no, Monty finally did his <laughs> post about going to the vets, if you haven't caught that. That was yeah. quite cool. Um, I've also done another, the second style, style series, even, difficult to say. Um, this time about um, shirt and blouse types and keywords for those when you're listing. So that's on the blog now. Yeah. That's... Um, and then I've also done a um, another vegan blog, which isn't recently related. But if you're vegan or even if you just like to use cruelty free products, um, I've done a blog post about that. It's about um, skincare and cosmetics. And Andrea's posts about different clothing styles. I thought that was a really good idea because what people have been doing and have said is has been helpful for them already is to favorite that page. And then when you're listing a pair of trousers, no, shirt, you've done shirts so far? I've done dresses and shirts and blouses. So different so far. terms that describe different dress styles. I mean, I'm lost with this stuff anyway, but people have been pinning, not pinning, was it? No, favoriting, <laughs> favoriting. <laughs> 
help me favoriting the page and then when you come to address and you think what what do i use to describe this you can go straight over there and they're all laid out for you on a page because andrea's done the legwork of finding them all so yeah that's been cool um i wanted to mention oh yeah i was gonna try and say about we had a couple of annoying things we had a return i sell off uh, there's not big money in it, but if you can get the right stuff, it works. This is how they were packaged to go out in a, in a mailer. Um, I sold a BT charger dock just as that, described as just that with nothing else, pictured as just that with nothing else, and a handset that does go with this, but you would need the main handset, you would need the plug. You know, anyway, you got it, and he goes, it don't work, and I need a plug. Where's the plug? You didn't send me a plug. I said, that's because the listing says base unit only, no plug. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he sent them back. So that's just annoying when people don't read the listing. You go to the trouble of describing it as it is, picturing it as it is, explaining in the title, the little description box and the main description that it is just a replacement. Anyway, so that was kind of frustrating. Mm -hmm. And then we had a guy phone us up out of the blue because as a business seller, you're, you have a phone number. I think you have to, don't you, on your, your listing. So he phones us up and he wanted to buy the, the two sets of car ramps I've got. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He made me a cheeky offer. I turned it down and then we met halfway and I said, that's cool. And he said, right, I need them. I need them soon. I'm going to come over right away. Fantastic. Cash sale, blah, blah, blah. So I waited in for him and he just never turned up. Hello why why go to all that bother ringing me up you know trying to do a deal on the phone getting some money off and then saying i'm going to be there i've got to come over right now oh and they never showed up well, they... of course we waited i know we could, yeah it's very frustrating people annoy me so <laughs> not all people just some <laughs> yeah that that was frustrating yeah okay i've got yeah i've got no more stuff no, but i'm just going to dip in here done. there was talk about um Oh, let's talk about Depeche Mode again. Uh, Krill and the European leg is all on YouTube, mostly older stuff. Yeah. Question. Just listing some autograph trousers. There is an S stamped on the label. Is that sale or seconds? Can't find a fault. Any idea? I honestly don't know. I'm afraid I don't haven't come across that, so I don't know. I would say if there's nothing obvious, Kirsten, just ignore it. Make, take mm -hmm. a picture of the label and show it so if they want to look at the picture yeah, but yeah i mean it, it might be sale but i've not i've really not come across it so i don't know no um found an original copy of the bible how much Which, can it go for an original copy yeah signed by the author <laughs> oh oh it's just oh, somebody said that oh did they yeah oh or was it signed was it signed <laughs> signed by jesus himself yeah, but he didn't write it. I was, I was going to say that would be tricky because it was actually written over a few hundred years after. Yeah, and um, the Gospels were written by the disciples. Well, lots of them were written even after them. Well, the main Matthew, Mark, Luke and John were disciples, weren't they? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yes. Did I have anything else I wanted to say? Did that. More did, that. did that. Did that. Did that. Did that. Okay, cool. Right, we'll just whiz to the bottom of the chat. Question, Nick, Zuzus. Oh. Is that what? I what? don't know. I just read John L's. He said, I bought a Jojo Maman Bebe um, tent last week. Spent hours trying to fold it. So we had one of those. Is that the we? round thing, though? Oh, you have to God. go yeah. bend and... We... It, it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Somebody's... When we were doing the kids uh, clothing shop somebody sold us one and yeah. we, we we bought it off them or traded it in and then yeah then yeah i couldn't get it back in and i, I ended up money for it in the end but yeah we the, tried it we got it out to photograph and then just trying to fold it up there was a way of twist it's like um a pop-up thing so it's yeah. got a spring-loaded like pole inside it yeah. and then to get it to be a circle you had to go sort of and the only way i could figure it out was to watch a youtube video somebody oh, had filmed themselves yeah, doing it that. in slow motion yeah. with the twist and what have you yeah, yeah remember and then we got it in the bag and it's like don't you dare get that out again 
I bet that was the same, exactly the same thing. Yeah. Um, Adam, yeah, sorry about the ramps. Is that really the person that was going to buy the ramps? Yeah, sorry about the ramps, Nick. I realised I needed a car to come around and pick them up in. Now he's got a winky smiley face. If that was you, they're still here. I don't think it was. No. Uh, what did Dwayne say there? He got mugged on the way over to meet you. Way to, <laughs> way to be uncaring, Nick. How do I know that, Dwayne? Yeah. yeah. I've still got them anyway. That's all I know. Um, um, and Richard said, I know the feeling, Nick. I've done a video about bias, never reading descriptions. <laughs> no, so many of them don't. It's so frustrating. Yeah, I remember watching somebody talking about that, especially with um, people all using these things. You have to go down and click a particular part to, to even look at the description on the phone, don't you? And I think a lot of people, I don't know, it's all about just looking at the pictures these days. You, you read the title, flick through the pictures and click the button. And I think that's how people do it. So you have to, yeah. I mean, even the little condition box thing doesn't really show up that well on the phone, does it? So, yeah, can be frustrating. Um, oh, they're talking about Tears for Fears. I love Tears for Fears. Well, we both do. Mm. Yeah. We're going to an eighties uh, festival, not yeah, for fears might be in a couple there, of months. I would have, away. I would have loved. <laughs> very few of the acts I really wanted to be there are going to. Yeah, be it was like that last time though, and we still had a really good time. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a great vibe and it'll be fun. But yeah, yeah I'd love for someone like Tears for Fears. Um, oh, 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 we are detected Thompson twins. Good lord, I am over time. Are you having a fit? <laughs> I don't think Thompson twins will ever get back together. Or T Tears for Fears reformed. A f Why am I just talking about this? They reformed a few years back and had another album out, which was actually pretty good, but it didn't mm. sell. And I think they've gone their separate ways again. The um the guy from Thompson Twins has done like festivals, isn't it? Yeah, Tom Bailey. Yeah, Tom Bailey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll just get to the end of the chat, and yeah, then we'll and then, we'll then, we'll, then we'll leave you to get on with your. Uh, I was going to say Sundays. Uh, oh, Zaheer's just um, popped in. Hey, Zaheer. Hi, all just got back. Oh, where you been? No, he was out for a really nice walk on the beach earlier. Oh, I did. Lovely. I'd love oh, to paddle in the would. beach right now. Sure the beach. <laughs> do, you, do you reckon we'll end up retiring to the beach? Somewhere near one, anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's a fair old drive from where where we are. You can't really do it comfortably. Can, we do day trips, but it's a lot of faffing yeah, it's about. a couple of hours to the nearest one. Yeah. Seaside playing with your submarine then. Has he bought a submarine now? He was, wasn't content with a massive chopper. <laughs> he bought himself a submarine. Surely not. Uh, Dwayne says, wait up for me, Nick. I'll be right over to pick up those ramps. Yeah. <laughs> Catch the next flight. How long should I wait up? Come on, tell me the ETA. Yeah, it'll be here in the morning, so you should be, should be all right to go to bed. They'll cost you an arm and a leg in extra luggage. They weigh a tonne. Mm. Just be careful, Dwayne. Um, oh, it's just jumped again. OMD, talking about, do I like them? Certain tracks, I never got into them, to be honest. Um, it was Sean that was really into them. Sure, yeah, when Sean came up, I had quite a chat with him. He's a big OMD fan. But I, it was just a band that, apart from a few singles that I really liked, I never really got into them. Forever Live and Die, I thought was epic as a song. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of good ones. Enola Gay. Oh, Kim Wild. We're going to see Kim Wild actually. And fun fact, I played with Kim Wild when I was a baby, because <laughs> my granddad was um, friends with Marty Wild. She lit. Ah, oh, fun fact, I used to deliver her dad's paper. Oh. And also, she came into Virgin when we went to Virgin one Christmas. I didn't serve her, but the person next to me served her, and I just kept looking at her, thinking, "Oh my God, it's Kim Wild." Well, she lives down the road. And then she went, and I said. <laughs> To the guy that I was working with, I said, you know who that was, don't you? And he was like, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> he had absolutely no idea he was serving up. Was he a youngster? <laughs> no, it was John. Well, John Gannon? Yeah, a bit younger than us, but... Yeah, yeah, She at least she used to live in Codicott, which is not far from us. Yeah. And, um, yeah, her dad, who was huge in the 60s, he was on my paper round, 
and they he used to give great tips yeah, i was always that. late i was a terrible paper boy it's always late i did a sunday and saturday yeah. run and i was just late they'd have been it, by the time i delivered them they might have walked to the post office and picked it up yeah but he always gave me like 10 or 20 quid so i was happy uh Stephen moore gary newman's newer stuff is good oh okay i'll look that up on spotify and someone was saying that kurt roland um kurt and roland from tears for fears hated each other that they, they reconciled for an album a few years back i don't know how that worked out though no. longer time but All there's interviews with both did of them. hate each other at one point seemed to they, be, i don't know they, they got together finding... for the money again what side of that or they've mellowed and realized that they were just hot-headed when they were younger I yeah what's well, like spandau ballet they hate yeah it. although i heard um tony hadley on the radio the other day and are they falling out again they he, they announced him as um tony hadley from spandau ballet and he said well don't know about that i'll have to let you know <laughs> so there's obviously some more problems going on there um, so here i don't even know what or who omd are orchestral maneuvers in the dark yeah <laughs> yep oh someone's answered there, oh. there we go it means oh morley's jewels <laughs> yeah good one darling <laughs> <laughs> big fan yeah. of jean-michel jarre yeah not someone i've ever got into i'll be honest and gary says level 42 is another band he saw in the late 80s we saw them at the last festival yeah the last time. 80s festival and we're going to see them again at rewind yep yeah yeah i did have a couple of their singles on seven inch running in the family i think rings a bell yeah what was that one they did tracy oh, did they do tracy sure. yeah they did <laughs> i used to get them mixed up with hue and cry is it hue and cry maybe? hue and cry yeah they what you got muddled similar. up well, no. Sound, I thought no, perhaps that's a different band then. I don't know, another band that sounded similar to them. Anyway, okay. Oh, Lisa fancied Tony Hadley for bloody years. <laughs> we'll end on that, shall we? That bombshell. Um, thanks ever so much, guys, for tuning in on a Saturday. Sorry if we confused anybody. Quickly, Dwayne just said Howard Jones. Love Howard Jones. He, We saw him live two years back yeah and he was one of the best Rio. acts of the weekend he was amazing he made that festival for me he he's incredible. he's still got it yeah he's shaking he's his so, ass he's so good and so talented well he was one of the best singers of the yeah. of the whole weekend let alone the play and then everything and the show yeah he's not is he playing this year? no he's not unfortunately uh, yeah cool yeah right we're gonna go this we time. We're gonna go really, really truly. <laughs> you two, yeah, I was huge into you two yeah. for years, not so much now. Yeah, yeah, we've seen them live. We? We're going, we're going. We're going, we're going. You and Cry, yeah, looking for Linda, yeah. And Labour of Love, I had that on seven inch. Yeah, Brilliant. I think it's the Labour of Love thing, maybe that reminds me. I don't know. That was a it that was a really... UB40 album. <laughs> Labor I of know, Love. but oh. <laughs> oh we're going yeah anyway thank you so much for popping in i don't know how many viewers we've had throughout that we've currently still got 134 people watching two middle-aged wallies talk about music thank you so much if you enjoy what we do please give us a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please do we will be back on tuesday hopefully with a guest which i haven't sorted out and yeah we we'll look forward to seeing you then thanks for joining us hope yeah. you enjoyed that and we'll see you soon yeah. Bye. Bye, folks.